all begins with a Firebase project. Hello and welcome back. My name is Afzil and you're watching Flutter Fire series. In the last video, we have seen how to create Flutter application. Today, we're going to create a Firebase project. And mainly, when you're creating project, you have to focus on the project ID. This is something which is going to be represented as a subdomain if you're planning to do hosting. So make sure it is human readable and you can find out if it's not available, just try some other combination, but make sure it doesn't end up with one, two, three or some random IDs. And once you specify the analytics account, your project will be ready in a minute. So this is the entry point of all the goodness of cloud platform. You can use Firebase cloud messaging, you can use real-time database, Firebase hosting, file storage, and Crashlytics analytics, and there's a lot more uh, features to it. Now, if you're thinking to register Android, iOS, and web application here, so hold on, we are going to do that in the next video with the help of CLI. So stay tuned, I will see you guys in the next one.